The Good, the Bad, and the Spooky by Jory John and Pete Oswald. Hello, Storytime readers. Have you ever had a time where something small didn't go your way and it caused you to have a bad mood? The bad seed wants to celebrate Halloween, but when things don't go according to his plan, he lets a small problem become a much bigger deal for everyone around him. Grab your copy of the book if you have it and read along with us. I'm in a bad mood. A bad mood. Oh yeah, it's true. You want to know why I'm feeling so crummy right now, huh? Do you? Well, it's Halloween, which is my favorite holiday. I wait all year long for this very evening. But listen to this. I don't have a costume yet. Look around. Nothing works. What a travesty. Arg! I promise I didn't wait until the last minute. I've been thinking about costumes for weeks, and I honestly gave it my best shot. For instance, I've already tried dressing up as a ghost. Bonk. I can't see! And a vampire. I can't talk. And a robot. I can't move. Everything looks so uninspiring. It turns out that putting together a perfect original show-stopping costume is basically impossible. <sighs> Halloween used to be so much fun. My friends and I would all get dressed up together. Oh, the memories. One year, we were a rock and roll band. The next year, we won as our favorite condiments. Oh, and then there was a time we won as a carton of eggs. We were cracking up all night. But things changed as they often do. Time marched on, we all got a little older, a little more independent. And I just can't shake the feeling that everybody, and I mean everybody, is going to address me this year. After all, I live on a sunflower in a field where everyone takes Halloween very seriously. Very seriously. You have no idea. No idea. See, how can I compete with that? And that. And that. And what the heck is that? I just can't stand it. And that's why I'm in a bad mood. A bad mood. With a bad attitude. Sheesh. There's only one thing I can think of that will even things out. I need to trick everybody into thinking Halloween has been postponed until tomorrow night. Yeah, then I'll have a bit more time to get my costume together. Excuse me, out of my way, please. Oof. Coming through. Hi. Pardon me. Seat on a mission here. Well, I never. Attention, everybody. Um, let's see. Um, there's a big thunderstorm on the way. That's right, a storm and also, uh, squirrels. A herd of seed-eating squirrels is racing toward us. Yikes. Watch out, squirrels in rain and thunder. Not a good combination. So for your safety, please head home this instant. We'll resume Halloween tomorrow night. Gosh. That sounds spooky. Bummer. There. That should do it. No more competition, no more hard feelings, and most importantly, no more costumes. What a relief. I beg your pardon? Yes, what is it? If I may be so bold, it seems like you're not enjoying yourself this evening. As a fellow seed, in fact, as a pumpkin seed, I know all about the pressures of Halloween. But listen, 
Halloween is about more than costumes and candy, Mr. Seed. It's about crunching through the autumn leaves. It's about decorations. It's about togetherness. And it's about community. Look around. This is all supposed to be fun. But... Nobody really cares what you're wearing. We're just here to have a good time. Look at us. We made these costumes in about five minutes. And we're having a blast. Just something to think about. Goodbye, Mr. Seed. Sheesh. Is it possible that I've overreacted? Have I made too big of a deal out of something trivial? I suppose I've been taking my bad mood out on everybody else today. Maybe nobody's really paying attention to my costume. Perhaps Halloween doesn't need to be a competition after all. Huh. Hmm. I've made a big mistake, but maybe it's not too late. Attention everybody, me again, and I some good news. Halloween is back on! There's no storm after all, and there are no squirrels barreling toward us. This is all a big trick. Get it? Ha ha! You may continue getting treats now. Yay! Hooray! It's candy time! Ahem. I made a big decision. I'm going to worry less about things that don't really matter. Not just on Halloween, but on other days too. I just need somebody to talk some sense into me. Now I'm not in such a bad mood anymore. And I don't have such a bad attitude anymore. As for my costume, well, I'll figure something out. Later that same Halloween evening. Hello again. Check it out, I'm a squirrel. Pretty spooky, right? Boo. And, um, if you have the space, I'd love to join you. Of course. You see, it doesn't take much to have a good time on Halloween. Whee! Well, Mr. Seed, I'm glad you finally got into the spirit of Halloween. And we haven't even gotten to the best part of the night yet. Take a look around. Wow. Now this is a treat. A treat for everybody. Indeed, Mr. Seed. Indeed. Happy Halloween to us all! Happy, Happy Halloween, Halloween from, from Storytime Storytime Read Alouds! Mwah! <laughs> <laughs>